All right, well, I've had a few questions this week about how to solve a problem on your homework, which is how much 6x loading die do you add to a certain amount of DNA? Um, so I wanted to give you a quick example, um, and here it goes. So let's say this is the example question. Um, how much 6x loading die would be added to 60 microliters of DNA? Now that's a, a ton of DNA to load, but um, let's just use it for an example because it's easy. Um, so normally what we would do is we would say we would use the dilution equation, which is 6x times v1 is equal to 1x times um, 60 microliters, right? Um, and then we would divide both sides by 6x, divide by 6x, x is only going to cancel out, and 60 divided by 6 means that the v1 is equal to 10 microliters. And that's perfect in a normal dilution, where you would add the 10 microliters and you'd break the volume of 60 microliters. But the problem here is with the DNA, we want to use all 60 microliters. So if we were to use all 60 with this, well then we would add um, the 60, let's do it again, 60 microliters to that, and that would give us a total of 70 microliters, which is kind of messed up now, because 70 microliters as a total volume with only a 6x would actually mean we need a little more and it gets it gets all messed up. So this kind of gets a little too confusing with DNA. So there, there is an easier way to do this that I want to show you. Um, the easiest way to do it is that you would just pretty much just take the 6x and then just subtract 1x. That's it, 5x. If we solve the equation for only 5x, that's an easy way to account for the fact that now we have a, um, a, a a more diluted solution than before. And anyway, so just take that 6x minus 1x and then do the problem, the, the dilution problem with 5x. So we have 5x times v1 is equal to 1x times 60 microliters. Divide both sides by 5x. X's cancel out. 60 divided by 5 means that v1 is equal to 12 microliters. Now, is it perfect? Is it exact? No, but you do make sure that you have enough loading dye to make sure that you can clearly see your DNA run in the gel. It also makes it so that when you add your DNA to the well, um, it, it sinks into the well because the, the loading dye is so thick. And that's actually another good thing too. You'll notice that when you do use a pipette tip to add loading dye, a lot of it ends up sticking to the inside of that pipette tip um, just because how viscous it is. So anyway, it's actually pretty easy to do. The, the key is just to take this 6x and just simply divide it, or do the dilution problem by one less than what that 6x is, and you'll be able to do it. That's it. All right, let me know if you have questions.